In this video, I'm going to review this Victor catch and hold mouse trap. And uh, this is a humane way to catch and release, so you don't have to kill the mouse. Uh, I have some mice problem in my yard, and it's getting into my boat, which is not a good thing. So I'm going to try this. I have already uh, killed a few with the uh, with the mouse trap, but then I'm going to try if I can catch and release them. So this one. Um, has you can see that there is a little hole in here where the mice will enter and I usually put it against the wall so that it's in the path of the mouse in this case so I face it this one towards the wall and I probably will have to adjust where they are going to come in through so this is a slide uh, release so it uh, just slides out um, once you can see this it's it's going to slide out here and within the uh, trap itself it's uh, pretty uh, nicely done um, you put some food in here in this tray and that is indicated also on by these little uh, holes in there so the uh, mouse can also smell it so um, you put the food in here the mouse will come in and once it enters it it is going to enter here to get the food so don't put food um, in this area but over here and maybe inside here and once it gets there there is not an easy way to get out because this is going to flip over and it gets trapped for the food I'm going to use some uh, peanut butter and uh, you know whatever you have at your home is fine they are very um, good they can smell the peanut butter pretty well and it's a good bait to do it and also I put some peanut butter on graham crackers so there are a few graham crackers I'll feed it so that it's not hungry after it gets in there so it will have enough food so I will put a few more pieces in here and you don't have to put graham crackers you can just put a dab of peanut butter that should be enough they don't have a lot of a uh, lot of uh, capacity but I'm just going to put it in here and all I do is I close this trap and I slide it over and then I place it in the location that I think they will be visiting um, in the middle of the night. I usually put it uh, places where I think they will be visiting mostly in the in the trash can areas and as I mentioned before I put the entrance to the hole towards the wall so it will be in their in their uh, normal pathway and but if you turn it also they probably can smell through this hole so i'll leave it here and i have to check it every day so that you know once i trap it i should be able to release it quickly and not let it uh, sit there for days here is uh, one trapped in there and we are here in a in a wooded area we are going to release it there is a the little guy <laughs> And it, it did eat and did a lot of things in there. <laughs> this is the second one I caught and I'm going to release it. There he goes. Really. Another one got caught. Really, really uh, cute mouse there. Two in here. Right one here and right one there. So that's not a... <laughs> bad catch for this little trap caught another mouse yesterday and this has been uh, quite a lot of uh, traps for the mice we had caught plenty and sometimes multiple in this trap so this works and we are uh, happy about this trap 
uh, it's not very easy to see it um, but uh, this works and uh, uh, we are going to keep using it so if you're looking to trap any mice this is a good one if you think this video was helpful click on the like button and also you can subscribe to my channel to see the other have a heart trap for the uh, bigger critters i have a video for it